Welcome back, everybody. It's going to be our last coffee break video of 2020, and um, you know I want to keep things brief this morning. I, I want to invite you to spend some time in, in quiet reflection, um, spending time alone with God if you have the ability to do so as much as possible. Um, but I wanted to take a look this this day at the uh, the Advent wreath one more time uh, before we arrive at Christmas. Uh, you know, each candle, as I've been mentioning, kind of represents a word. It captures the idea, the, the focus for that particular Sunday. You know, we start with hope. We recognize the words of old that, that promised a coming Savior in the prophets uh, that Jesus would fulfill. You know, and then we move on uh, to, uh, to, to peace. And, and we recognize how peaceful um, it is to know our Savior, the, the peace that it brings to us, that, that passes understanding, as the Scripture says. Um, then we come to, to the third, um, we, we recognize the joy that, um, that, that comes um, when we realize what is happening through Christ. Uh, and then we arrive at love, and, and the love that, that fills the world through Christ the Savior as he walked the earth and showed us the way to then share that love continually through our lives. You know, as I reflect on each of those candles, um, you know, uh, one sticks out to me more than the rest. And I think, I, I think many of you might agree with me, um, but for me, that, that hope candle. Um, and not just, because I, I, not just because of 2020 um, being what it is, what's going on around us, um, I think it's easy to lose our hope. And I think a lot of everything else uh, about those other three candles, the, the focus of them, um, is centered around the hope. Uh, I just began reading a book by N.T. Wright um, called Surprised by Hope. Um, and it's a really challenging book, um, but I think it's important for us to recognize that, that everything we are as Christians is centered around hope in Christ. Um, you know, so hope, love, peace, joy, all of those things are, are critical to Christmas. But, but especially the hope candle I think is so interesting because it's the first one we light. And, you know, so when we think about light coming into the world, it's, it's just one candle. And that's it. You know, we light more candles, there's more light. But, but with hope, we only have one candle. And so it's almost like, what hope is there when there's only one candle lit yet? If we're in the darkness, one candle is not as powerful as, as three, four, maybe even ten if we have them. And yet that's the candle that starts us off. It's always the first candle of hope that reminds us, even in the midst of the darkness, there's still at least that little bit of light. It's a reminder that even the darkest night ultimately ends and the morning dawns. What I want to invite you to do um, these next couple of weeks here as we end this, this year um, is to, to reflect on each of those words. Um, and maybe there's one that sticks out to you. Maybe there's one in particular that you feel like you need more than the rest. Maybe it's the same as me. Maybe you need a little more hope right now to be reminded of where all this comes from. Maybe you need a little more joy, a sense of, of, of passion in Christ's life uh, entering yours. Um, maybe you're, maybe you're, you're wrestling with something. Maybe you've got a lot on your shoulders, a lot on your heart that's just breaking you apart, and you need to know the peace that comes from knowing God more. Or maybe you need to know the love of God more because you just haven't been able to feel that and share that with others as adequately as you know you're called to in the scriptures. Whatever that is, I want to pray um, that you spend some time alone with God. Um, and ask him to fill you with whatever it is you need um, to recognize the ways that he's calling you to step into a life that gives you more of what you're looking for. Uh, because I think God is, is primed to offer that at all times, and we just need to be willing to stay silent and listen so that he can offer that to us. You know, 2020 has been a long year, and, and I know many of us are, are not too thrilled with some of the way things have happened or transpired, and but I think one of the greatest things that I, I've been reminded of is that no matter what happens, um, when we go through periods of trial, um, struggles, uh, a spiritual wilderness, if you will, that's when God was preparing for something new and altogether better than the old. And so I'm looking forward to 2021 with you, and, and it may not start out quite how we hope, but um, I believe if we return to God, God's word, uh, and, and we ask, what are you doing? And what do we need to be prepared for? If we're willing to do something different, if we're willing to step into the newness, I believe God will show us a beautiful, very amazing new future. But we've got to be willing to, to step into that. So, so find your hope. Find your peace. Find your joy. Find your love in God. 
And this Christmas Eve, when we light that Christ candle, remember, all of it centers around Christ in our lives. I hope you have a very, very merry and blessed Christmas. And I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Mm-hmm.